Hi, and welcome to my Gateway Experience. I wanted to share with you some information that could better help you understand and clarify some of the things that we're doing. We're going to be talking about hemisync and the pineal gland, how we can use them to be smarter and have more success with the tapes. In case maybe the tapes or some, one of the tapes doesn't work for you, this video can help you better understand why it's not working. One of the main reasons why the tapes work for some of us is because of hemisync. So I'll explain a bit the background. So this is how it works, okay? We have two sides in our brain. The left side and the right side do different things. Our left side of the brain is used for tasks such as rational thinking, uh, math, logic, rationality. But the right side is used for tasks that require intuition and creativity. So examples, if you're driving, you're using the left side of the brain, the more analytical and detail-oriented side. Driving, um, if you're doing manual work like construction, you know, or look, those office jobs that require a lot of focus and concentration, those require the left side of the brain. The right side is for things like if you're going to paint, if you're writing lyrics to a song, dancing, these use the right side of the brain. So each side processes information differently. The left side is more detail oriented. The right side is more big picture thinking. There's a big difference between both sides and how they process information. Based on what we're doing, one side is used more than the other side. Now, the situation is that, so when we're in everyday life, normal consciousness, we're going to favor one side of the brain more than the other for a task at hand. That's fine, it works well, as, as, as usual. However, there's an imbalance because we are making a decision based on only one side of the brain. We're either looking at the big picture or we're either focusing on the details. So there is an imbalance of, of processing information favoring only one side of the brain. But the catch is that with hemisync, we get access to both sides at the same time. So you are able to think and make decisions using both sides of the brain at the same time. In a normal state, it's very difficult to do. It's possible, like when you focus really, 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 really hard or daydreaming, these kind of things allow you to, to access both at the same time. But it's very difficult. However, with the tapes and with hemisync, is how we voluntarily activate both sides so to make much more better decisions, be much more creative and smarter. Hemisync is short for hemispheric synchronization. So synchronizing both sides of the brain so that they can work at the same time. So Hemisync is a technology developed by the Monroe Institute. <clears throat> it's like music. But the way it works is that it's used in every gateway tape. They play one frequency or one tone in one side, one ear, and they play a different tone, a different frequency in the other side. What happens is that that creates an environment for the brain to create a new, a new third tone, a different tone. That tone is known, that third one is known as the binaural beat. That tone is the one that creates the pathway between both sides of the brain, like a door. That tone that we hear in the tape, you don't, we don't really realize it, but we're actually created an environment where we're actually using both sides of the brain at the same time, which is very powerful. So we can actually just activate hemisync just by listening to any gateway tape, okay? There is an advanced method where that I use is how you can voluntarily activate hemisync without the tapes. I will share with you this tip, it's in the first tape, the first ever tape, in the first 10 minutes, we have an opportunity to create our own trigger, our own way to activate hemisync. You, you're going to be activating hemisync in that tape, however, you have to identify and recognize what works for you to, 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 to turn on, to turn it on, okay? It works for me. I can literally activate it anytime, hemisync. But I, I do have to do that tape again, like maybe once every month, just to make sure that I'm on top and 
I still have that uh, that trigger is still uh, uh, valid. So you can use both sides of your brain at the same time just by listening to a gateway tape. However, if you want to use it in a specific situation outside of the gateway tapes, that's how that's when you can use this trigger to voluntarily activate it when you want. That is more advanced. First, you have to be comfortable doing hemisync with the tapes. The reason why we feel calm when we're doing a tape is because thanks to hemisync, our brains are not fighting. We feel very calm because our brain, our both sides of the brain are working in harmony. They are not fighting between each other over the task at hand. So just because they agree and they're at peace puts us in a very calm, very calm state. It's a state also, guys, another benefit is by using the benefit, by using the powers of both sides of the brain at the same time, you make way more better decisions, better thinking, better creativity, you build on your intuition. When we're using both the sides of our brain at the same time, we have a different perception of reality. That's what allows us to do things like, like lucid dreaming, out-of-body experiences, astral projection, remote viewing. It's much easier to do these things with hemisync because we're using both sides of the brain at the same time. So hemisync allows us to use our brain in a more balanced way. So we can process information in a more accurate way, better way. If you, have you seen the movie called Limitless with Bradley Cooper? In that movie, he takes a drug to get more access to his brain in a normal state. He, get, he takes a pill to get more access to his brain so he can go on and do incredible things. In our situation, that drug, that pill is the hem, is hemisync. That's what allows us to get access to more of our brain, but more naturally and better, more powerful than taking a pill. I hope I was able to provide some clarity about how hemisync works. Now the second part of the video is about pineal gland. The pineal gland. So the pineal gland, first of all, it's just like a tiny organ in the center around here of the brain, okay? It's main, mainly used to regulate our sleeping. Okay, it produces like this thing, like a liquid called melatonin. This is used to regulate our sleeping, but there's much more than that. The pineal gland is known as the third eye. Whenever, if you're going to hear someone say, oh, you, is your third, third eye open? It means, is your pineal gland calcified or decalcified? Because everything I'm saying here is based on scientific evidence, proof, facts of thousands of years. Uh, th there's proof, evidence from ancient, thousands of year old civilizations in Egypt and Hindu civilizations with paintings about, paintings of the pineal gland. They used to worship the pineal gland, but they did not have the tools or technology or science that we have today to like understand the function of the pineal gland. They worshipped it because they see it as uh, the use for psychic abilities, for uh, enlightenment, for getting real information, for makes it easier to do lucid dreaming and much easier to get into deep meditative states. If you're having trouble with like lucid dreaming, visuals, remote viewing, astral projection, out of body experiences, with focus levels, if you're having trouble with any aspect of what we're doing, it, it, there's a strong possibility that it's related to the pineal gland. The benefits of also having a decalcified pineal gland include mental clarity, understanding and interpreting, interpreting things, better sleep, more balanced hormone, better intuition, better creativity, and much easier to focus. These are benefits of having a decalcified pineal gland. I'm going to tell you how the magic works, okay? So, there are primarily four ways to activate the pineal gland. Activating it means having access to its benefits. One way is binaural beats, like the gateway tapes. Another way is breath work. Breath work, to, that's another way to activate the pineal gland. Another way is meditation. And the fourth way is having a very decalcified pineal gland. Now, why, why does this work? Why does this work? 
So, like we said, the pineal gland produces something that helps regulate our sleep. When we activate, when we use one of these tools to activate our pineal gland, we are voluntarily making it produce more of that, 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 that liquid, melatonin. When we activate it voluntarily by listening to a tape or by meditating, we are producing more of that liquid that regulates our sleep. However, we are activating it and having access to it when we're awake. You get, do you understand? We, it's, it's usually for when we sleep, but we're creating that liquid to have access to it when we're awake. Usually we have only access to the, what those, those powers when we're asleep. However, we created the environment to have access to it when we're awake. That's why it's so powerful and difficult for you sometimes to stay awake when you do a tape. So if you're having difficulty with an aspect of a tape, it can easily mean that you just don't have enough of that liquid that is produced by the pineal gland. Okay? So what does it mean when we say your pineal gland is too calcified? A calcified pineal gland versus a decalcified pineal gland. A cal calcified pineal gland means there's a lot of calcium in our pineal gland. That calcium stops the pineal gland from producing much of that liquid. There are several reasons why a pineal gland can be calcified too much. One of the reasons is lack of exposure to the sun, not enough sun, not getting enough vitamin D. Another reason that you have too much calcium in your pineal gland is because maybe you're eating too much processed food. Processed foods is like foods that come in a can. That's processed food. Too much of it can, can put too much calcium in your pineal gland. The third way to have a calcified pineal gland is if we consume too much tap water or too much uh, fluor fluoride toothpaste. Most of the toothpaste pastes have fluoride. However, this fluoride, it has some benefits for our teeth. However, it has a side effect that's not good for our, our pineal gland or our awakening or our growth, our intelligence. So maybe look for an, uh, a toothpaste without fluoride or avoid drinking tap water or maybe try to eat more natural food. There are several ways to detoxify the pineal gland, okay? If you think it's too calcified, and you want to detoxify it, there's three, three types of foods really good for this, okay? So, apple cider vinegar, raw cacao, like pure chocolate, the real chocolate, and turmeric, the spice turmeric. You could, you could research this, these three things will help you detoxify the pineal gland, make a huge difference. This is based on science, this is based on ancient civilizations, just, just, just check it out. So I've, all of this is very evidence-based. So I've shared with you how, to, how we can activate the pineal gland, how we can decalcify it to, ha to have a more access to it and better experience it. What we talked about today can help you have better experience with the tapes, become smarter and have a better life overall. It's very, we, we talked about some very powerful things. I hope I was able to clarify some of it. If you have any specific questions, let me know. I'm going to make another video soon, so I'll talk to you again very soon. Take care.